Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White version. Last time we arrived in Nazarene City, and in this episode, we're gonna tackle the gym. But first... Hey look, it's that kid who's named after a letter. Seriously, why would you name your kid after a letter? Perfect Pokemon. Well, yeah, I mean, I kind of like perfect Pokemon. They are very powerful. But it's time for another battle against N. Who had the same strategy that I did? Wanted to use a Timber as his, you know, main Pokemon, which is why partially also I'm changing Timber to something else. And I'm... I need to explain something real quick. I'm not gonna be doing typings correctly inside this video too well. In fact, I'm not gonna be doing too well in this video. I had a little bit to drink before recording this. I have learned since then, if I am a little bit tipsy, to make sure to disconnect my recording equipment so then I don't record. So as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to be stupid and take on a Pokemon that's two times a week to its own, to another type of Pokemon. But, that saved us. Our Purloin, though, is not doing too good. I took this one out of the daycare center, hence why it has these levels. Partially, I wanted to evolve Purloin to its evolved form, since Purloins evolve at level 20. But, I don't even think I'm gonna do that until I get another item. So, that gets rid of the P-Dove. Smacky got 103, but N's gonna send out his timber. So guess what? I'm gonna send out my hashtag, how the tables have turned now, N. And seriously, why are you named N? Why would anyone name, like, in Japan, is he named N as well? Is it just N? Like, the hiragana N. If so, I feel sorry for that child because he can never play Shiritori with his name. But, hashtag's grown to level 17, hashtag is actually close to evolving. Oh, a Timple, huh? Guess what? I have taken out Bolt. It was at this point I ended up going, shit. I mean, that would have gone easily if I had my Bolt with me, but oh well, let's send out Poochie to take care of this. So, intimidate it. And now, I get confused at what I'm gonna do, so we're gonna just take it down. But of course it avoids it. Oh no, not Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam's kind of annoying because it can lower your speed. Which is very bad in my case because look at how much that did to me. Now Super Sonic is also annoying because Super Sonic confuses your Pokemon. What, su what confusion is, because this wasn't explained at the Pokemon school, pretty much your Pokemon have a chance of attacking themselves by accident. And that could obviously lead to some problems. For example, my Herdier attacked itself. Isn't that just great? They can snap out a confusion on their own, or you can switch out the Pokemon with a different one, and when you send that Pokemon that was confused back in, the confusion will be gone. So, let's now put out Smacky, because I need to get Smacky some experience since he's only level 13. My plan was to get Smacky to be, you know, sweeping this gym, similar to how I ended up getting Monkey to sweep the first gym pretty well. I used Anna, mind you, but I wanted Smacky to be a little bit more proficient. However, uh, Smacky's not too good. <laughs> it was at this point to where I was starting to regret that in my drunken stupor. Yes, I was a bit drunk in the last episode, too. This was all one drunk session. And I've learned since then I can't drink because it gave me a massive headache shortly after. <laughs> but that defeats the Timple and Trainer N. So you want to force people to agree with you. Do you not see what is wrong with your logic? Are you that much of a sociopath, child? 
Good to know I will be friends with a sociopath. So, my Pokemon got wrecked, and that was another instance of also me forgetting that I had to fight N again. Remember, I don't remember where all the battles against your rivals are, and that's going to be a constant thing throughout this project, because I've only fully played through this game once. So, she'll see us again. Oh, you probably will. But for right now, we need to go and tackle the Nasserine Gym. So, let's go on into the museum. And who's this guy? Seems to be staring at a skeleton of a Dragonite. That's morbid. <laughs> Excuse me. An ancient while flying around the world, and so it became a fossil. It looks just like a Dragonite! A meteorite, huh? Ah, oh, great. Am I gonna have to fight a Deoxys? I see an Armaldo back there. Oh. Well, that's boring. So, couldn't you just replace that with a painting then? Congratulations. I'm pretty sure you already got married beforehand, but late congratulations. But welcome to the Nasserine Gym, folks. So, it's where challengers at the back of a museum. This seems like a very terrible place to battle. This seems like this would make Indiana Jones cry. But all the trainers in the gym use normal type Pokemon. And the aide will tell you that they're weak against... You know, the good old-fashioned fighting types. Well, that's why I caught Smacky, because Smacky's clearly gonna clean clocks. No, no, Smacky's not. But we also have to answer questions based on books, and it's pretty simple until you get to the last one. The last one's bullshit, like to the highest order, to where I don't even remember it, because remember, I'm also drunk and I'm having to do puzzles. That does not go together. I'm already terrible with puzzles when I'm sober. Why would you make me do puzzles when I'm drunk? But let us teach Smacky Rock Smash so then he has two of the good old fashioned fighting moves and we can teach it to Monkey too so we might as well teach it to Monkey. I could have taught it to Poochie and that probably would have been a good idea since it would give Poochie an advantage in this gym at the same time. Poochie has a high, you know, physical attack but drunk. So let's fight our first gym trainer with this guy. This guy's gonna be that guy. You know that guy, that douchebag. What kind of douchebag? The one that uses sand attack so much that you can't attack. And when you can, We'll use the move detect, so then you can't attack. You know, that guy. This is just the first battle, and he's already being a bitch. Is this a payback for all those pack rats I've made fun of? Well, guess what? I'm going to wreck your face. Guess what? Your bide failed because I couldn't attack you even once. But now you're going to use detect like a little annoying person. So I'm going to smash you with rocks. And, of course, he's got to be that guy. But there we go. That takes care of his pat rat. That was horrible in normal speed, ladies and gentlemen. And I was getting pissed off because I was just going, no, you're being that guy. Oh, that guy. But here's our first clue for the book. Nice to meet you, Pokemon. Small brown Pokemon. That would be a patch rat, wouldn't it? Wait, I thought you weren't supposed to write in the books. A librarian lied to me. Clearly I can write inside the books as long as I put trainer hints. So what is the first Pokemon you met in the gym? 
It was an evil pat rat who loved to use sand attack and detect. So what we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to talk to somebody else. It's about a tepig. Nope, the first Pokemon I met in this gym was not a tepig. So the hint is on the bookshelf on the left. All right, so let's go to right here. The biology of Patrat. They're annoying and they are the Rattatas of the Unova region. That's all you need to put on there. That's all it is, that's all they are. But there's another memo in the back of this book. You know, if, it, if they were still talking about, you know, Pokemon, which you would think they would be, I would think a Camerot or a Numul. No, it's actually a locomotive. Yeah, I would have thought they would have gone with Pokemon for all the questions, but yes, it is a locomotive. Or, or, hear me out here. You can move out of the way, I can get the book, I can read, and I can challenge you to a battle later. You're not going for that, are you? You've already sent out your Herdier, so I'm going with a no on that one, so go, Smacky! Kick this Herdier's butt. And by that, I mean, try not to get wrecked by this Herdier. And that was very smart of Satomi. But, I kick it, it does something, but unfortunately, Herdier has some uh, defense now. Ow. That did a lot of damage. So let's lower its speed. Of, let's lower its speed so then we can get that, but we also lowered its defense, it said. Yes, just, just keep using Bite. Use the move that's, you know, not effective. So, one more hit and it's down. Okay, yeah, just keep using Bite. Because, Rock Smash. You're dead. So, that defeats the Herdier. And we get 842 experience. That's gonna level us up twice. Thank you, Smacky needed to, you know, get some things to sweep this gym. Oh, I was hoping for a three. Um, okay. So now, can you move out of the way, please? Yes, 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 I'll return the book. General Studies, the structure of a locomotive. If you're wondering, are there trains in this game? There actually are trains in this game. They're not locomotives, mind you, which is a dirty, dirty lie. If you want a game that has locomotives in it for the DS, there's always spirit tracks. Ugh, I wonder if I'm ever gonna get to those ones. But, here's the third question. Food? It's closer to the entrance. Well, I'd assume it'd be the bookshelf that we haven't looked at yet, which would be right here. Of course, the circle pad wants to be my enemy. Some children's books. Sweets for Pokemon. Ooh. And it tells you how to make Poffins. Poffins are great treats from the faraway land of Sinnoh. Pokemon love them. Your DS screen will not. I don't know how many people I knew tore up their touch screen on their DS, making Poffins. That was brutal to a DS screen. I mean, not even, say, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, even the Mario games did that. But now we're going to have to challenge this trainer right here. Pretty much that last hint is bullshit. Just talk to the trainer that's right above you that you haven't fought yet. Drunken me took about three minutes to figure that out because I just started talking to everyone. But, let's use a low kick. And this is bad. My, you know, Smacky is kind of getting his face wrecked. So let's heal him up. Yes, just use 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 the move that is su not super effective. So, let us kill the little pup. So now Smacky is level 16. At level 25 it would evolve, but now we're going to learn Rock Throw, a physical ground or rock type move, I should say. 
which is good. So we might as well get rid of Bide because Bide is useless as always. So let us Rock Smash. And Rock Throw, but of course it misses because the one time I want to show off a new move, it misses. This is where I was starting to realize, you know what? Maybe I should have gone with Throw, which is why I'm going to be doing that in the future. So let us use Rock Smash. And Rock Smash again. And there we go. That defeats the little pup. So close to level 17. So, let's read the last book. The Biology of Tepig. As was actually explored within the anime with a very sick Tepig, which was recreating the Charmander scene from Gen 1's anime series, now that I think about it. Oh wow, that actually got caught on screen. If you're hearing Skype, not Skype, uh, Steam noises, that's because somebody was actually messaging me, and I apologize for that. But, push that switch, and we get a hidden staircase that leads us downward to Lenora, the Nazarene City Gym Leader. So, let us use some healing items because, you know, my Pokemon kind of got wrecked. No, you fool, heal monkey. Good, heal the monkey. The monkey always must be healed. But, go to right here. You're the director of the museum, yet you're allowing the museum to be a battlefield. And, time to tackle the second gym leader, Lenora. Lenora has some pretty potent Pokemon early on for the game, if you're not careful, with her Herdier. Her Herdier is pretty powerful at a level 18, but luckily, Smacky's level 16. And just got his attack lowered because of Herdier's Intimidate. So, let us Rock Smash it. Unless we get instantly wrecked, of course. And of course, the one time I wanted the speed to go down, the speed did not go down, which means I'm gonna die. Smacky has failed me. Smacky has failed me miserably. And because of that transgression, Smacky is no longer being on this main team. But we'll send out hashtag instead. Hashtag while not having the beefiest of physical defenses, as quite clearly seen, still can do some moves that can kill the Herdier. Plus also this gets hashtag closer to leveling up and soon evolving. So, now hashtag wants to learn Roost. Roost is a very good move in which it allows you to recover health. So, let's do that and learn Roost. I'm not gonna be keeping Roost for too long, mind you. But, Lenore's ultimate Pokemon is a Watch Watchog, which is the evolved form of Patrat. And guess what? Just as annoying. Unfortunately, before I could use Roost, Watchog used Retaliate. Retaliate is a move that does more damage whenever one of your Pokemon has fainted. It's also the TM we're gonna be getting for beating Lenora. So guess what? Mystic Water plus Anna equals Razor Shell Die. 1 HP, 1 HP left with the Mystic Water. That's not a wise idea, I just lowered your physical defense too. And let's finish this up with Water Gun. Retaliate again, that's fine. And goodbye Lenora. So, Anna is now level 21. Good, Anna. Good. You're leveling up perfectly. And we've defeated the leader, Lenora. Motivated? I just use Pokemon to, you know, wreck yours. I just know strategies. And War of Attrition. 
And so, by beating Lenora, we get the Basic Badge. That is a very terrible name, and that is a very basic design. I can see why it is called the Basic Badge. But that's Gym Badge number two. Only six to go. So now, Pokemon up to level 30 that we trade will obey us. And we get the TM67 Retaliate. Retaliate is actually pretty strong, but what's going on? Uh, do they ever leave us alone? Well, at least they're stealing from adults this time instead of children. I'm never going to let that go, by the way. They literally stole from children. We're acting self-righteous, and we're thinking that they could get away with it. But, you know, instead of all these other gym trainers coming to help, we are on our own for this one, which is very, very, very stupid. So let's heal up Anna. And at the same time, what we're going to do is we're going to put her in the front, I believe, soon enough. In fact, we're going to do that right now because I didn't know if I was going to battle or not. Spoiler alert, you're not going to battle at this area right now. But let's go down. We're gonna liberate you of your valuables. Well, that's not before our eyes. I'm sorry. They work fast. Yeah, we have to go after them. Somebody call the cops. Oh, right. They don't exist in this universe. They only exist in the anime for some reason. But Lenora's out here looking for Team Plasma. I think they're long gone, but who's this guy? Berg. And he's Castelia City's gym leader. He's our next gym leader that we have to fight, actually. He specializes in bug-type Pokemon. You know what is weak to bug-type Pokemon? Bug-type Pokemon. And flying. And everything. Everything's weak to bug. Well, bug's weak to everything. Yes, there is a problem here. Something got stolen. All right, sounds like a plan. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's go and wreck Team Plasma again. And we get ourselves the dowsing machine. This allows us to find hidden items on paths, actually. You could find them without the dowsing machine if you need to, but you need to know where they are ahead of time. I do not, so the dowsing machine is gonna be useful. But Sharon and Bianca need to guard the museum, and we need to go with Berg in order to go and stop Team Plasma. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we're going to go and stop Team Plasma. See you guys.